Hello, Taurus. Okay, sun, moon, rising. All right, you guys. Thank you for your patience. You know, the divine coming through with a message of patience this week for you guys. Um, usually not a very patient sign. We had some tef technical difficulties, but it's all divinely aligning for this purpose and reason of patience. Okay, that's coming through very strongly for the Taurine energies. All right, this is a time of not pushing and shoving up against things, trying to make them work for you, but really being in this voided state, this pause moment where you're coming more into the stillness of your own heart, your own sense of being. Maybe things aren't pushing forward and moving forward as fast as you'd like them to, but this is really calling you forward into the present moments of just being able to connect with your inner self. You guys are always so focused on moving forward with the physical manifestations of things and coming forward and moving forward and moving forward and moving forward. Sometimes we have to bring ourselves into the present moment and pause, okay? Come into our heart, come into our wholeness and realize, okay, before I go spinning my wheels off, before I get turning and spinning and going, you know, I'm in this position where I have to just sit and be and reconnect to see if the trajectory of where I'm going is aligned with what I'm really wanting. And so immediately that's just coming through for Taurus this week. Um, and this will be extended into literally next week as well from today moving into next week. Um, this time is really about coming into this space of stillness, which is not an easy task task for anybody, but especially this Taurian energy of, you know, wanting to just go and make things happen and boom, 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 trying to ram through things like lightning speed. And when we're going at lightning speed, sometimes we get so caught up in going and going and going, we forget that we need to slow down and check in with ourselves, check in with our heart and say, oh, you know, have I missed some healing in here? Have I missed these steps in here? Have I missed you know, the bigger picture here of what's unraveling and unfolding. If I'm moving in this direction so quickly, how can I stop and make sure and re-navigate and re sort of relaunch my system here to make sure I'm still going in the direction where I want to go? Um, so that energy is coming through with Taurus energies this week. There's also another group of these Taurus energies who are coming in who have been working on something, finally getting the wheels turning, wanting something to move forward, and it's just not panning out the way that you want. Maybe little tests and triggers are coming through to slow you down, okay? Things are built on a solid foundation when we take our time, and patience is sort of in there as well. So the testament this week is patience. You may feel like you've been working like you've been grinding, like you've been going and putting your nose to the brinestone for nothing to happen. And it's like, what? I put in all this effort and this work and I'm only here? Are you kidding me? Like, this can't be happening, you know? And there's a little bit of that energy coming through this week for the Taurus, um, sun, moon, and risings. And it's really... Like, I feel like I take all these steps forward, but I'm not getting anywhere. And this, like, really um, sort of sense of dissatisfaction can be with Taurus this week as well. Um, because you're in a moment of pause. You're being asked to stop. You're being asked to listen to your heart, to reconnect with yourself. You guys have reconnected or connected with the material realm so well. You guys understand the inner workings in the material world so well. This pause that's being gifted to you is being asked of you to come inside of your own heart to do more of the self-exploration, to reconnect with the higher power this week so we can bridge heaven and earth together so that you can see more fluidity in your life and don't constantly feel like you have to be charging through things to make them happen. So this week is really about that. It's also reconnecting to yourself and your heart. You guys are so um, about showing up and sort of being this heroic figure and person for other people and in their lives and always showing up on top time for other people. This moment in time is about coming back to the clarity of your own heart and coming back into your own self and checking in with you. This is really about checking in with you and yourself, making sure your relationships, okay, your home, your family life is moving in the direction that you've really wanted. If there's something that's imbalanced with your relationships right now, it's, it's going to come to the surface in order for it to be expressed. You guys really need to open up this throat chakra and communicate your emotions. A lot of the times you guys are just moving through things so quickly and you don't want to let that guard down. Now is the time to let that guard down, to be vulnerable, to open your heart, to allow yourselves to feel the emotions of the frustration or the emotions of maybe this isn't the right thing anymore and move through the process of that. A lot of the times Taurans can have this fear of failure aspect with them as well, that when they're not completed, 
started um, with something that when they're letting it go, when the relationship is needing to let go, they often send, sometimes seem to put this on themselves and feel as though it's a default on them or this failure on their part. And we got to let that go, Taurus. So that's coming up this week to be healed as well. Um, we have, you know, life force energy, Kundalini energy happening and awakening, you know, a surgence of energetic support to help you at this time coming through. So there's a lot of Taurans that have been working on things, powering through things, and they've reached this point of frustration with it, of it not going anywhere. So there's a gift of Kundalini energy rising to the third eye right now to help you expand your awareness so that you can see that this time isn't about you as much as we want it to be. It's not about you. It's working through the rest of the things to serve who you need to serve. So then you can have the rewards that you've wanted to receive in your life. Um, and it's doing so in the most aligned way that's really about your soul. And this isn't about your wants and desires from the egoic perspective or of the material world. This is your wants and desires at the soul level. So where is not working? You know, where are you feeling like it's a hard no right now? Maybe we started something. Maybe we got in the motion of creating something or doing something. Or maybe we're in a relationship. And then all of a sudden, it's like this week comes in and it's like all of a sudden I have zero momentum towards that. I don't want that anymore. Get it the hell away from me. That's the universe saying this is no longer aligned with you. As the timelines are shifting and changing and molting, that's going to be coming up and it's your time to express yourself, not, you know, before it builds up to this point of momentum and just explodes out of you, but really express your true emotional self and allow that to take the forefront at this time. We're also mending that wounded masculine coming through this week for you guys, um, allowing you to move back into the wholeness of bridging this masculine and feminine energy, allowing yourself to come into more of this passivity, coming and reconnecting with your intuition, coming in and reconnecting with the intuitive flow of your emotional self and the spectrum and not just charging ahead and charging forward. Um, we have Bridget coming through for you guys uh, automatically, who is sort of helping you guys um, Reclaim your strength, reclaim your femininity, reclaim your feminine powers, okay? Your gifts, your psychic insight, your intuition, okay? Listening to that and waiting for that to give you the green light to take movement is the key. We are no longer going to be operating on the structure of charging and making things happen through force. So Taurans, you guys are getting sort of this reset that's happening this week for you guys and your energy. That's really helping you reconnect back to the feminine nature of you, healing that feminine nature, but also reconnecting to your spiritual self, beginning to understand and come into further awareness of the spiritual self, um, beginning to open up yourself to, you know, come into more of that vulnerable space. Okay, guys. Um, you know, allowing yourself to, to get in tune and in touch with your emotions. All right. Okay, guys. So we have kind of two different groups happening right now, but we're just going to kind of roll with it. All right. First card we got here is the throat chakra. Okay, guys. A lot of the times with you guys, you are so, um, you know, just focused on charging ahead that you've detached from your emotional state or allowing yourself to move with your emotions and allowing yourself to vocalize the true expression of your heart. You guys are super emotional creatures internally. And a lot of that suppression of emotion has come from maybe, uh, you know, getting in the way of accomplishing something or feeling as though, you know, you, you don't want to let your guard down because that'll hand your power over. Your power comes from vocalizing your truth. Your power comes from vocalizing your emotions. Your power comes from the ability to tap into your own heart and your vulnerability that lies within your emotions to vocalize that to other people and you're going to see that that creates more potential for movement and momentum in your life at this time than anything and it's opening up your heart your heart chakra and your throat chakra to begin to acclaim what you're really wanting and desiring you've been so focused on the material gain of the world around you maybe you have the home maybe you have the money maybe you have the car maybe you have all of this around you but you're still feeling empty inside of yourself right now this is a time to look deeper into your heart we have the high 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 heart chakra um card 
So with these two, this is about looking deeper into your heart space at this time, going on the self-exploration and beginning to vocalize your truth and what you're really needing on an emotional level, coming out and being able to express in your relationships and your friendships, you know, what you're really truthfully needing and desiring at this time and not hesitating to ask for that assistance at this moment in time, to ask for help at this time, to team up and ask for, you know, some space if you're needing some space in your partnership, okay? It's okay to ask for what you need and it's okay to feel vulnerable. It's okay okay to feel like you're moving through the emotions at this time okay but we got to vocalize what's really happening in our heart space okay coming in with the heart card as well the high heart card you guys are moving and then transcending into an opening and awakening of your heart chakra your heart chakra is going through massive clearing and awakening at this moment in time you're coming back and returning to the true essence of love that is the foundation of everything okay connection is everything a lot of the times to Taurus you guys like to have people in your home and family and that's very centralized to your being in essence um but it's making sure that you know who we're surrounding ourselves with aligned with with who we are and where we're wanting to go and who we're wanting to be relationships coming into the focus as well in partnerships okay you know a lot of the times with Taurus they hold on and they internalize everything and then it just sort of explodes out of them okay uncontrollably you got to tell your partner how you feel you got to tell this partner how you feel partners if you guys are in relationships this is the time to really vocalize your emotions and what you're moving through at this time and begin to make a change in trajectory of being able to vocalize what's happening inside of you so that your partner be is able to recognize and meet you there as well as being able to vo be vulnerable and open up and expand your heart expand this connection between the two of you guys or if this isn't serving you anymore moving on to the next thing knowing that when you open up your voice to speak what's going on in your heart that that's going to serve as this movement okay this is also reconnecting to the deeper dreams and desires and needs of your own heart coming back and connecting to your emotional self to the feminine side of you to the emotional being that you truly are inside no longer stuffing it away or shoving it away from yourself or you know trying to um hide these emotions within you or sort of diverting yourself and attention away from them kind of keeping them to yourself it's time to really open up and be expressive about what's been happening inside of yourself to be vulnerable to break down to let yourself cry to let yourself move through what's coming up at this moment in time you know not just trying to rush through it to get to the other side but really moving through and allowing yourself to feel things because you guys are going through this heart chakra awakening at this moment in time um things are shifting things are changing for you guys okay and this is all about opening up your heart space once again, being able to connect with a deeper understanding of what life is truly about, coming back to the core essence of connection in and of itself, reconnecting to what true family really is, um, healing ancestral patterns and ancestral wounds coming up for Taurus energies as well. This week is all about cutting the cords and doing the healing work that's been necessary for the maternal, um, the paternal ancestral family line for Tauruses. So you guys are probably moving through a lot of the cycles of cutting these cords of moving through the emotions moving through this stuck feeling moving through feeling as though you know you are moving you know maybe you have everything in your material world again this coming up with this high heart chakra maybe you've gotten and achieved everything in the material world but your heart is still not feeling this ecstatic bliss it's not feeling this you know euphoric feeling of like whoa okay this is amazing it's it's missing that fun that playfulness this um you know loving nature for life itself you're missing that charisma and that excitement in life it's like kind of like bland at this point like i've achieved this i've achieved this i've achieved this and i'm still not in love with life i'm still not happy so where else do i need to go what else do i need to do and you guys are ramming through everything but the universe is kind of like, no, you need to sit with yourself and your heart at this time to go inward, to go inside of yourself, to move back into the wholeness of your being.